Hey guys, I'm really excited to share with you the ins and outs of Visly, the ways it can schedule to your Facebook for you, how you can create a template, how you can post in your Facebook events slash groups. We'll call them events, but you have to use them with, with groups in Visly, and how you can import templates that people share with you, or you can create a shareable template for your downline or your teammates of any sort. So let's get started. When you go to Visly, you're going to want to create a free account and you'll have a two week unlimited trial for the, for the free account. And then you'll have the option to upgrade to a paid plan. Now the paid plans, you can find the information in the FAQ on the left, but it's $10 a month. Or if you pay for the year, it's a hundred dollars all at once. Um, super beneficial. You can run texting campaigns in here. You can run, you know, you can unlimited pay posting to your groups and your pages. It does say events. That is not accurate. You cannot pay post to Facebook events in here, not even through a business page anymore, but you can also run email campaigns. So it's really, really worth it in my opinion, um, because you're saving a lot of time. So once you've set up your account and you'll do that through Facebook, um, then you will have all of the access to post into those groups. Now, one thing that's really important to know is when you are getting ready to post into a group, let's say I want to post into my, this is my VIP group. Um, I don't typically use templates in here because I just, I create um, a post and then I schedule it in here. But if it's a party, I definitely want to not recreate the wheel every single time. And I want to be able to share with people the same content without having to think about it over and over if I'm having multiple parties every, every month. So to do that, you need to go into your settings for your Facebook group. Um, I would hit more and then you've got edit group settings. This is different depending on which browser that you're using. So once you're in here, these are the apps that I use in my VIP group. But if you didn't have these, you would have to hit add apps. That part usually takes a little bit of time for this little box to load, but once you're in here, go ahead and type in Visly, V-I-Z-Z-L-I-E, add it right here on the bottom, you have to add it, and that gives Visly permission to run in your Facebook groups. Without that, it will not work. So when you've got that added in, go ahead and scroll to the bottom and hit save. And now you have added Visly to your group, you have given it permission to post on your behalf. So then you're in here and you need to find it. And on the left, you'll have your dashboard. You'll wanna to go to groups. Now there's a big reason you'll wanna use groups instead of events for a Facebook party. Um, if you're having multiple parties, A, it's hard to keep track of creating the same posts and using them over and over. And before I used to use um, Microsoft Word or something equivalent, and I would create the post, put the graphic in there, and then each post, I would bring it into the event and I would post, but that kept me stuck at my computer for a long time because you know I, I want a morning post. So I'd have to make sure I jump on in the morning and post into the party. I want a noon post. I'd have to go on and make sure I post in the party. And what it does is it prevents you from having to be stuck to your desk all day long. Um, you cannot schedule posts in, in Facebook events. You can schedule posts in Facebook groups. You cannot use Visly and events on Facebook. You can use Visly in groups on Facebook. So there's a lot of reasons to do it as a group. And the number one way, the reason it's really, really beneficial is because when you have a hostess who's rocking her party and you're thinking, my gosh, she would make an amazing consultant. Then when you're done with that VIP group, you can remove yourself as an administrator after you add her as an administrator and then show her how to change it to her VIP group name. And all of those posts that you made, all of the guests that she invited, she already has a VIP group ready to go. So she can take over the reins and that's her VIP group all set up and ready to go. So really you're helping a consultant step into success. So Visly and Facebook groups are amazing. All right, let's, let's go back to the screen. All right, so in here, remember the name of the group that I'm tracking is Rachel's Healthy and Non-Toxic Lifestyle. These are alphabetical. They will start with the numbers and then they'll work their way up the alphabet. So I'm gonna scroll down until I find it. It's gonna be in the R's. Keep going. Oh my gosh, I have a lot. <laughs> okay. Rachel's Healthy and Non-Toxic Lifestyle. I want to track it, track it. And then it will be at the very top under Available Groups. So here it is. I can open that group 
And let's say this is the only party I have this week, and then I have a bunch coming up, then I'm gonna want to create some posts. So I'd write a new post. Um, let's say it's welcome. And then, hi, I'm Rachel. That's not what you're gonna write, <laughs> but that's what I'm going to write. But you will wanna welcome your guests, however you wanna do this. Um, let's say her party or the, the host's party is next Wednesday. Then I want this to post today. At least uh, Today is actually when I would start. I like to start mine six days ahead. Of course, you can make your own template, however you want to do it. But however, whenever you want these to post, you just select the time. And then you can attach graphics down here. So the attachments, you can use an image. If you, use, um, uh, if you have a video that you want to use, you can use that. You can attach a web link. So if you have a YouTube video that you want to link, I have one that I use for cleansing oil to wash faces with. I use, um, I use my web link that way and it just shows the, the YouTube video in the post. So it's very helpful. Um, I'm just gonna keep none for now and create it. So you would keep doing that. And then once you have, and I'll, I'll do just a few, um, awesome tip, that's not awesome, tips. Uh, here they are. <laughs> Again, whatever you want them to do. Imagine I want this to post this evening at eight o'clock. Then I can just change this. And again, I would add a, always add something, an image, a video, a web link, something, because it just makes it more visually friendly. And Facebook is a fun place for people to socialize. So you do want some fun graphics in there or something for them to look at. So then go ahead and create it. And let's do one more for tomorrow morning just to show you, you can change the date. Today is August 6th, so tomorrow morning at 6.52 a.m. And I'll, I'll do this um, healthy stuff <laughs> and maybe post some information about whatever you want. Again, I'm keeping this very generic so you can create it however you want. And one thing that's neat is if you import templates or after you create your templates, you're going to get these, these graphics in here for you to use. You don't have to keep importing them. So I'll just click on tea tree oil and I will create it. And so then I have that. Once you've got your template made, like you've, you've got all of your posts for this party that you wanna rock, and then you have a party coming up next week that you wanna start posting for, then you wouldn't want to do this all over. But what you can do is you can turn these into a template by clicking on this turn into template and select all of them next. Um, now here's the part that I want you to pay attention to the create a template part. You will, when you're creating it, you'll want this to be a distinct start time. So imagine this healthy stuff post, that was the one that's like your live event. You were going to go live at that time, then I put that one in there. And here's a trick, um, let's, I'll go back really quickly and say that my new post, this is party time, because I always go live for a half hour in my party and it's always on a scheduled time. Just like if somebody's having a home party, I'm gonna invite them to my house at a certain time. I'm not just gonna tell them to pop in whenever. An online event should be the same way. So online party, um, I put this exactly at that time. So let's say the actual party is next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Then I am going to be going live at 8 p.m. But I also want this post in here so that they, so that when I'm creating this template and then I'm using it in the future, I'll know how to import it. I'll know which post is the start time and which, you know, when to, when to start these posts. Um, let's see what I've got in here. Image. Let's see if there's a welcome. I actually don't know. Oh, there we go. Some balloons. So that's going to be that one. And notice that was my August 12th party at eight o'clock. That is the start time. And I put it right there in the, in the description. It's the party time. So now when I turn these into a template, I want to have all of those go, hit next. And then again, this is when you're having, you're selecting the start time. So you need, that's very, very important that you pick the exact time that you will be going live because that way it'll, everything will stick with it. And I'll show you why that's important. So we'll hit next. This will be my mock party. Do I need one? I'll just put a couple dots, create the template. And now I can go to the template and then you can make changes within here. You can do all kinds of things. And I wanna show you this because this part is a little bit tricky. If you add a new post now that it's a template, you can, let's say you want it no days before. You want it it's the time of your party and you want it 30 minutes before the party. 
if that's the case, if you're doing a 30 minute count, that's, that's 29, <laughs> if you're doing 30 minute countdown, um, and you say live in 30, and then you could do some sort of web link or another a video or however you want to do it. I use a link to a YouTube video that I uploaded. It's just a quick little party thing. But anyway, you use whatever you want. And if you want it 30 minutes before, which you would, um, so 30 minutes before the event start, you're on your 30 minute countdown, you update that 30 minutes before you go live, it will post in that party that, you know, they're on the countdown. Now, let's say you don't want it at a specific amount of time before, but you want it at a certain time of day. Let's say you want it that morning, but you don't want it relative to the start time. Then click on that and select the exact time of day, and then you can change it to say 6 a.m. Okay, so that's really important that you can change relative to start time versus exact time of day. How many days before, how many days after. You can change all of that in here if you're editing a template. So now let's say I wanna take that template I created for Rachel's healthy and non-toxic lifestyle and I want to use it in Michelle's virtual spa experience. So I click on Michelle's virtual spa and now this time I don't need to make new posts because I just created that new template. And so I'll click so use a template and I will go down to mock, 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 mock. There it is, mock party. Um, this is important right here. The start time, my new party is going to be Wednesday the 19th at 7.30 p.m. So that's the time that I will be going live in the group. So that is the start time that I'm importing this template. Yes, I want to import everything. Go ahead and load that and voila, it's already ready to go. So when you want it to start, you would just Turn posting on. Yes, I want it to start. So that one, then you're all set. Super, super easy. But I wanna show you a template that I have. So this is the month of August. This is my party template that I've created. And what's neat about this one is, okay, so it's all ready to go. And when I, when I put it into a group, it's just gonna go. But look at this, look at this first, um, let's see. I think I put it in here. Okay, yeah, so this one. Thank you for joining me and notice the hostess is in brackets. Now I'm going to be able to plug in the name of the hostess every single time it's in those brackets. So thank you for joining me and hostess in this week of fun, blah, blah, blah. The party day is also in brackets. That way, every time I mention the day of the party, Every time I mention the hostess, everywhere in here, I will put it in brackets and you'll be able to change that based on the party. So let's go back to groups. Let's open Michelle's group and I'm gonna import another template, um, use a template and it's going to be that Ray's, Oct or Ray's August. I want it to start, what did I say? August 19th at 7.30 is her party. Yeah, actually, I don't want to keep the ones I put in there. I want to use a new template. I want to select all of them, load the template. And this one's a little bit different because I have those personalized brackets. I use the hostess name. I use the party link. I use a lot of different things multiple times in this template. So when I scroll to the bottom, I then just replace them. So the hostess, her name is Michelle, so I'm going to keep that. Um, her party, I'll go back down. Her party day, I said, was Wednesday, um, August 19th. Save. So this way, and it tells you which post that's going to come up in. Whenever I mention Michelle the hostess, you'll find that in post, what is LGS, multi-uses, party tonight, order anytime. All of these posts, I mentioned Michelle, but I don't want to have to go back in every time and change the name of the hostess. So instead, let's go to order anytime. Let's go to that one and you'll see where I mentioned her right here. I put it again, same word, hostess in brackets. If I didn't use this, then I would have to go in to every time I imported a template, I would have to go in and change the name of the hostess. I don't want to do that. So I, I'll keep, take a shortcut and put it in hostess in the brackets. And then I can just, whenever I import it into the new group, I just change the, the, the thing that I need to change. So, you know, this one, it's 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. And do keep in mind, it is important to put what 
time zone you're in, especially if we're doing all online events, because people are all over the country and there's three different time zones, unless you're even talking Hawaii. So we need to, we need to be particular with that. And then you would just save it. And once you've updated all of these, you can go ahead and turn them on. Um, and you go ahead and continue. Now it will not let you, it will give you an error if you try to turn them on and you haven't completed these. So let's, let's leave this blank and I'll save it. So I've taken away, it does give me alert that the hostess is missing, it's a nice red alert. And up here, it turned it back off because I'm missing text replacements. That's what those are, is those text replacements at the bottom. So hopefully that answers a lot of questions. Um, you can also share templates by going into your templates under planning on the left. You can go to a Facebook templates and let's say you want, you've got a 755 start February, that's a weird call. <laughs> um, you can share it by clicking share and copying this code and then you can share it with your people. And then when, let's say I just shared that with you, if you want to import a template that's been shared, you do the same thing. You click on templates, you import a template, you paste the code that somebody shared with you, and then it will bring it up and you can import it and use it and save it however you want. And any anything that you do to change this will now be yours. It will be yours forever and you can change it however you want and it's not going to make any difference. It's not going to mess up the original person who created it. It's yours now. So do with it as you wish. Um, I hope that helps. I hope you are now ready to use Bizly and have super success with it. And should you decide to go over two weeks and use this for your events on Facebook, I say events very loosely, your groups on Facebook, then I would love for you to use my code, reach out with your upline or your sponsor, or your coach or whatever, and see if they have a code. But if they don't, I would love you to use mine. And it helps you to share your code with people as well, because you can get a free month, month when you get a couple of people using your code. So my code is FS8KZM5. And I will share it with you right here, right? here <laughs> so you can check that out um and i would i would like that if you would do that but otherwise enjoy have fun let me know if you have any questions in the comments and i will talk to you soon bye guys